I've got a new instance of Dynamics 365 here and I want to connect it to Power BI so that I can look at the data from this instance in Power BI. So let's walk through the configuration. So first thing is I'm going to go into System Administration and then in Power BI. So here we have a few parameters that we need to configure for example. So the first one is um, the Azure AD tenant. Now in this particular case um, I'm logging in as myself so I'm using my Microsoft account so that's what I'm going to specify here but if you're filling this in this would be your company's um, Active Directory, Azure Active Directory for example. Now the redirect URL is going to be the instance that you're working on. So in this particular case um, we want to copy the URL from our instance and then I want to put OAuth at the end of that. So that'll be the redirect URL. So you need to check those. The Power BI API address should be api.powerbi.com beta and then my org in there. Um, this one should be analysis.net um, and this one should be login.windows.net for example. So what we need to fill in is the client ID and the application key. So where do we get these from? So what we need to do is go over to uh, dev.powerbi uh, apps. Um, so this is the URL that we want to go to and we want to go to there and then I'm going to sign in. Now you need to be the administrator of um, your environment to be able to do this. This is not an end user thing that they're going to do. So what we need to fill in here is um, some details about our instance. So let's copy the URL and I'm going to say it's my D365 um, uh, deployment for example. Deploy Alright, and then um, I need to say that it's a server-side web app and the redire redirect URL is going to be our instance um, with OAuth at the extension and then our home page we can set as our instance name as well. Now down the bottom we can specify what access we need so I can say all groups for example and so at this point we can hit the register app button and it's going to create a client ID and a client secret for us. So I'm going to copy these and I'm going to put them into my client field and I'm going to copy the client secret and I'm going to put that into my application. So those are the parameters and then the last one we need to make sure that this is set to yes for enabled otherwise it's obviously not going to be enabled and so therefore we're not going to see it on the workspaces for example. So I'm going to save the parameters and we can close out of this and so you'll see if I now go to one of the workspaces like budget planning um, you'll see that we now have a Power BI um, uh, tile there that we can link to. But before I click on this let's go and um, connect up. Um, so this one I finished with so I can close and what I'm going to do is go and log into to uh, powerbi.com um, so I'll sign up and sign in. I obviously need an account for this so that needs to be configured for you and stuff like that. Now um, what I need to do is I need to put some content up there on Power BI so that I can actually use it from my instance and so I'm going to need the name of our instance. I'm going to copy this again and you'll see down the bottom here we have this little arrow so I'm going to click on that and you'll see that we have services so I'm going to use get to get a service which is going to list my um, uh, feature packs that I have available or content packs that I have available in um, the environment so these could be from my organization, they could be from other providers, in this particular case Microsoft for example, but there's many different providers of content packs. So if we look through, um, here I'm going to find the ones that are Microsoft Dynamics AX. Now 
it says Microsoft Dynamics AX, uh, the brand change, so it's Dynamics 365 for operation. So these are the three that we have available, for example. So I'm going to take the financial performance one as the first one, and then I'm going to say get, for example. And so this is going to prompt me for my tenant, my environment. So I'm going to put that link in there. Um, and then we'll say next. So it's going to try to access this tenant and then ask us about the login. So what we want to specify is OAuth here. So we need to make sure that that's specified. So once it is, we can hit the sign in button and that's going to ask us to sign in. So we'll do that. And so it'll take a while to refresh. And then you'll see that it says importing data. So this is going to take a little while. I'm just going to pause the video while it does that. All right, so after it's uh, refreshed, now it could take a little while for that to happen. What I'll see, for example, is um, you'll see financial performance um, in your dashboard. So you'll see that it's still refreshing in this particular case. So it's going to take a little while for the data to be organized and display. So I'll just pause the video while that goes on. So it could take a minute, depending on the system performance, it could take a couple of minutes or it could take uh, tens of minutes, for example. It really just depends on the size of the data. Obviously, this is demonstration data, so it might not be as big. Um, it's a couple of uh, tens of gigabytes, but it might take a little while compared to a full production environment, for example. Um, so I'll pause the video while it refreshes. Okay, so after the dashboards are refreshed, you'll see some data in there. So once the data is in there, then I can go back to AX and the users can then come back. In this particular case, I'm still in the budget planning workspace and I can go and click the get started, at which point I need to authorize access. So I can click here to authorize. It's going to log in. And then we're going to get the option here of, do I want to allow that access? I'm going to say accept. And then it should tell me that it's successful here. So I'm going to hit close. And you'll see that it's opened up another instance. So I can go back um, to that tab and then just say close. at which point it's going to give me all of the um, uh, all of the reports that I have access to. So I want to have a look through my list of um, dashboards that I have, for example. All right, so I've scrolled through my list. I can find the financial performance one, and that's going to load up my charts. All right, so therefore I've got my KPIs in my charts, for example. So I could take actual versus budgeted all expense, for example. So I'm going to click that and then add that, at which point then it's on my workspace. So once it's on my workspace, then I'm free to go and do the analysis. Now you'll see the sizing options here, for example, but if I click on this, it's going to redirect me over to Power BI. And then from this point forward, I can do the analysis uh, here further in terms of whatever I'm looking for from my BI functionality. So that's a quick walkthrough. Um, the few steps that you need to configure to connect Power BI to your Dynamics X instance. But you can find that under System Administration, Power BI, these are the parameters that you need to get configured um, so that you